Pauline, I, I will have the uh, honor of uh, the, the country director of Google in Nigeria in our presence. She came to share her experience at the Auto Leadership Academy. Julia Ehima, welcome. Thank you. Uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Julia Ehima Chiazor. I, uh, I'm the country director for Google in Nigeria. And uh, Google, uh, Julia shared a very uh, inspiring presentation down with the, with the class. You talked about um, opportunity favors the one that is prepared. Yes. Uh, maybe I feel like led to, it, it, it was inspiring for me, so I would like yes. other people to hear about it as well. Yes. I think it's a very important concept because um, really there's a lot of truth to the fact that opportunity favors the ready mind. And I have cases of just interacting with people who feel, well, where I am right now is not where, where I want to be. But all you have to work with is where you are now. And where you are now offers you something. It offers you an opportunity to develop yourself. It offers you an opportunity to build relationships. It offers you an opportunity to show what you will work, right? So that, and you never know who's watching. Either internally, if you're within an organization, or even externally, you never know what who's watching. Um, but if you apply yourself in that way, then when the opportunity comes for something better, something that is probably more in line with where you really see yourself, then you'll be an obvious candidate for that. But what I advise people to not do is just feel, well, this is not where I want to be, and so I'm demotivated. I don't even apply myself. I don't push myself. I don't even go the extra mile because I'm just waiting for the ideal job. You have to create it. And part of creating it is living in a very wholesome manner in the now. One thing that you seem passionate about is this concept of vision. You, you made yes. a statement about what is worse than being blind is being able to see and not having a vision. Yes. And it seems as if played a part in where you, 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 you what you have achieved. Yes. So that's a quote by Helen Keller that the worst thing than being blind is having sight of the vision. And I think it's very important. People talk about vision a lot. Like you mentioned that word, it's like it's it's, it's overused. But actually, not everyone really imbibes that. And I think it's very important on a personal level and also at an organizational level to have clarity around what do I want for my life. So, you know, personally, every year and, and, and sometimes at different points in the, in the year, I actually create a vision for myself, like what do I want to achieve? Where do I see myself going in different aspects of my life? Life is multifaceted. So, you know, it could be a vision around family, it could be a vision around health and fitness, it could be a vision about, around work, it could be a vision about, uh, you know, different finances, you know, different things. So, but it's great because it sets the direction for your life. It helps you to know how to prioritize your time. We talk about time management. At the end of the day, um, everyone has the same length of time. We can't really do anything about that. We all have 24 hours every day. What you can control is how you prioritize what you do with that time. And, that's, and that can be powerful if it's informed by your vision. And so it's important that we know exactly what we're trying to work towards so that we can apply ourselves and our time uh, accordingly. So the, on, on that priority, I mean, you're very busy. Everybody wants uh, to see you. Everybody is interested in doing something with Google, can do all. And yet you still found time to come to the Oslo Leadership Academy to share your experience. What's the motivation for accepting to be a champion? So I think, I think above everything else, actually, our, um, our personal skills as human beings are very important. I love conversations like this around leadership, around personal effectiveness, around sharing life stories, because we're human beings, right? And everyone is striving to have a better life. And these conversations in some ways inspire, encourage, challenge, etc., to be better. And so I love the charter of the of the academy. I think it's great. And it was actually a real pleasure for me to to to, to accept and to, to be part of the conversation. Well, thank you very much. So what was your experience of the ambience of the class? What's your general experience of the OC Leadership Academy? I think the, so far it's been positive. Um, I think started on time, which was great. <laughs> 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 and uh, uh, the audience was very engaged. They um, you know, asked questions. I, I, we had a, a, a good uh, um, a discussion back and forth. So it's been a positive experience so far. And I like the ambience of the place. So you've been uh, internationally everywhere, London's, uh, London's London business, business school. school. How would you then compare uh, 
what we're doing here with, with because people sometimes think that there's nothing good here and everybody has to go somewhere out of Nigeria in order to how would you compare? Oh no, I wouldn't agree with that. I think um, wherever you find yourself, it's really up to you to make the best out of it. So um, you know, we've got uh, uh, you know, I, I, went, I did my first degree in Ife, oh, and that gave me the right foundation. That gave me just rigorous learning, discipline that actually I applied for the rest of my life. So that was a great foundation. So I think um, I, I, I wouldn't subscribe to the fact that oh, you've got to um, you know a, a, a school outside the country for you to be able to. Yes, we have challenges with our educational system. That's true. But you know, in today's world, actually, you know, you can act, you can supplement a lot of the learning with online tools. Right, and so you know, just going online to, to watch how to videos, webinars, seminars, and so on and so forth, uh, you can really augment your learning. And so I think it's a mark, it's a question of wherever you find yourself, make the best of it, because then you'll be able to tap into uh, the opportunity that is uh, around the corner. And my last question: I hope you will uh, come on with you again. And what is your advice for people? Uh, that are looking for mentorship in their business uh, education, would, would you recommend them to come here? Yes, I think um, I think this uh, I think it's a positive experience, good conversation, opportunity to also meet colleagues. So I think yes, we can really uh, provide opportunities for growth. Thank you indeed, um, Juliet. It's also a pleasure having you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.